Is this the best action figure bootleg ever? Let's take a look! Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks to the guys from City Toys, my Wolverine has finally arrived and I'm so excited to mess around with him. Obviously, it's a bootleg of a Mafex number 138 brown suit Wolverine that is insanely expensive on the secondary market. If you are a follower of the channel, then you know that I covered the whole story from day one when this figure was announced and now it's finally here. This is one of those figures that I thought I'll never have in my collection and even though it's KO I will take it because based on what I saw this figure is amazing but without further ado let's start with the packaging by now it's a standard CT toys box that is slimmer than the Mafex boxes here it is next to their 185 Spidey and you can see that it's the same thing. The thickness of the box is the same and everything so there's that. Here in front we have a nice promo shot of the figure, Wolverine, X-Men, brown suit version, City Toys logo, up here a nice image from the comics, number 138, we have a window showing the figure and some of the accessories, on the side a promo shot of the figure, on the back some more promo shots, on the other side it says X-Men Wolverine and we have the figure with unmasked head. Here is the top of the box, legalese at the bottom. So now let's open it up and let's finally take a look at this Wolverine. Here is Wolverine out of the box and my first impressions, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. I mean, I don't have the original but based on what I saw online, this KO looks almost identical to the real one. Isn't it crazy that we have come to the point where we are getting high quality bootlegs? It's insane. First, the figure is sturdy. There are no floppy or loose joints here. Nothing is falling off. Everything feels nice and tight when you are messing around with the figure. Let's see how tall this guy is. He is around 14 centimeters to the top of his head and almost 15 centimeters to the top of the ears of the mask. The sculpt looks beautiful and that's of course thanks to the original Mafex designers. But City Toys managed to replicate that perfectly. Paint job is good for the most part. Brown and black paint is cleanly applied, there's no paint bleeding, so no complaints there. Yellow parts of the costume look good enough. It's not a clean yellow, they've added some orangish tones that gave the muscles more definition and I like that. So you can see it here, on the legs and even here on the top of the head. The belt is simple and it looks good. Skin tone is also nice, especially on the face. The only minor paint issue for me are these differences in the skin color on the arms. It's cool that they were going for the shading effect but it kind of looks random and like he has some paint stains on there. See it here, here as well, a little bit on the side. Also one of you guys told me about a difference in color on elbows and knees and so I said that I'll mention that. Honestly I can see it on the elbows, skin tone is lighter than the rest of the arm and that is really noticeable. But on the knees, honestly I I can't see it. Maybe it's a slightly darker yellow but it's really not that noticeable. After all this is a $20 bootleg of a hundred plus dollar figure. I can give it a pass for those kinds of things. I don't expect it to be an exact and perfect replica of the original. Here is another closer look at the head. Everything looks perfect. The eyes are nicely painted. The mask looks amazing. Arm hair is also here so they didn't leave out that detail. Fists also look good with these silver Wolverine knuckles. The boots also look great. This part here is a bit warped on my copy but I can easily fix that with a blow dryer. And here is a closer look at the back. All of these nicely sculpted muscles and here is Wolverine's butt, back of the legs, back of the boots, down here we have the skin color and if I'm not mistaken we have the same thing on the original. So overall I have almost no issues with this figure and I'm amazed by how good it looks. Let's now take a look at his accessories. He comes with a flight stand, this is not a Mafex stand, it's some kind of a cheaper version that you can buy on AliExpress but it's still cool that they are giving us a flight stand with a practically $20 figure. Here is his masked alternate head sculpt and again it looks 
fantastic. This is the smiling, the smirk one. This is something that we don't usually see with uh, Wolverine figures, so it's a nice addition. The teeth are nicely sculpted and painted. The eyes are not misprinted, so that's good. The mask looks beautiful. Again, we have that orangish shading that the first hat has as well. Skin tone, again, looks great. Here is the back of the head. Everything looks nice and clean and uh, yeah. I am really amazed by the quality that I'm seeing here. Here is his unmasked alternate head. It's a bit softer than what we saw on uh, promo shots of the original figure. But then again, the original head also looks similar to this. It also doesn't look like uh, what we saw on promo shots. So I feel like this is close enough to the original. He has his angry face expression, yelling mouth, tongue is painted, the eyes are also really well done, the hair is also really nicely sculpted it's uh, blue with a dark wash this is a nice addition even though i probably won't be using this head those masked heads are probably the ones that i'll be using but still it's good to have options and then together with that unmasked head he also comes with his mask down so this is something that goes around the neck and folds on his back the paint is cleanly applied a simple accessory but it looks really good and here is how that looks on the figure maybe it's a bit uh smaller than it should be i'm not sure i don't know to me it looks good enough so i'm satisfied with this he also comes with three pairs of hands two fisted hands that are already on the figure a pair of open relaxed hands and of course the main accessory for wolverine a pair of fisted claw hands they are in a nice shiny metallic silver color they are curved just like on the original city toys really replicated this fantastic I love it. And to switch out the hands, that is really easy. And here is Wolverine with his claw hands. This is exactly what I was hoping to see out of this uh, KO. Let's now take a look at his articulation. The head is on a double ball peg and it is curved, so you can turn that in any direction depending on how much movement you want him for looking up or down. The neck has its own ball joint as well, so together with all those points of articulation, you get some nice movement in the neck and the head. The head can tilt side to side. He can look down this much, up this much. We have a nice butterfly joint that gives us some great movement. The arms can cross the chest like this. And going back, you get this much. Arms rotate 360. There is a drop down joint in the shoulders. Arms go out this much and they swivel. We have a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow that goes in all the way, a swivel in the wrist and the standard wrist peg that can hinge in any direction. We have two cuts in the torso, one is up here and the other one is behind the belt, so you get a rotation up here and down here as well. Together they give you some nice side to side tilt. He can crunch forward this much, back this much and you'll get a little bit of gapage here. We have drop down hips, legs move out this much, they kick forward this much, back only this much. We have a tie swivel, double jointed knee and then we also have a boot swivel. Now I've heard some people saying that the original doesn't have that point of articulation. I can't confirm that, I'm not sure. If someone watching this has the original, please tell us if it has a boot swivel or not. We have a swivel in the ankle, feet move forward this much, back this much. We have a generous ankle pivot and a nice toe joint. So the articulation is fantastic. It's just what you want for your Wolverine figure. You will have a lot of fun posing this guy around and uh, I know I will because I will make his posing video of course. Let's now compare this guy to some other figures. Here he is next to the original Mafex X-Force Wolverine and the original Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Wolverine and compared to the original Mafex this guy is definitely a bit shorter. As I already mentioned I don't have the original brown suit Wolverine. This is the only Mafex original Wolverine that I have but I assume that both brown suit and tiger stripe versions have the same height as this one and so the original is definitely taller than the CT Toys version. Is that a deal breaker for you? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I've heard a lot of you guys in the comments of all of my videos in which I was covering the process of making of this figure saying that the Mafex figure is a 
bit too tall and that City Toys version being shorter actually benefits this figure. Do you feel like this is a good height for Wolverine? Because when I see him next to the Marvel Legends version, they are almost the same height. Anyway, let's compare him to some more figures to get a better idea of the scale. Here he is next to the Marvel Legends House of X brown suit Wolverine and on the other side we have the AliExpress bootleg of Amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tech Wolverine. Again, City Toys version does scale pretty well with these two guys. Here he is next to the original Mafex 185 Spidey and the City Toys version. And so he is definitely shorter than the original but seems to be taller or almost the same height as City Toys Spidey. Here is how he scales with the original Mafex Daredevil and the AliExpress bootleg of Mafex Deadpool. And again, I feel like this works perfectly. Here is how he scales with Mafex Gambit and Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Rogue. Here is how he scales with Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Cyclops and Jean Grey. Here is how he scales with Marvel Legends movie Logan and Deadpool. And finally, here he is next to the Mafex Magneto and AliExpress bootleg of Marvel Legends Juggernaut. So that was my look at the new bootleg of Mafex brown suit Wolverine by CT Toys. Is this a perfect figure? Of course not. You can always find some small issues but same can be said for the original. But is it a great KO? It definitely is. I would even go so far to say that for me, strictly from my point of view, this could be the best bootleg that I ever saw. And this is coming from someone who has a nice number of bootlegs in his collection. Simply based on the fact that it's one of the most popular superhero characters and also one of the hottest figures ever that are insanely expensive on the secondary market. To have a KO of that and for it to be as close to the original as this guy is, all of that leads me to the conclusion that this could could possibly be the best 112 action figure bootleg ever made. Yeah, go get it. You won't be sorry. I still can't believe that we are getting these high quality bootlegs. So thank you City Toys for making this and thank you for sending it to me for a review. Now I'm waiting for that Tiger Stripe version because I'm sure it will be as amazing as this guy. But all of these were just my thoughts. Now I would love to hear yours. What do you guys think about this figure? Do you you have it or not? Do you plan on getting it? Do you have the original? And if you do, please tell us how close this KO is to the real thing. If you still didn't get this figure and you want to, I'll leave a City Toys recommended link down in the description so use that and get your Wolverine. Stay tuned because I'll update you guys whenever City Toys news come out. Also stay tuned for a posing video for this guy because it will be a lot of fun. As always, a special thank you goes out to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep the channel alive. Everything that I earn over there goes into the channel's content so if anyone else can help please do so and if not that's also okay because you are helping simply by watching and sharing my videos. So thank you all for watching, thank you for being here with me and I'll see ya in the next one.